Hi, I'm Misha Daniel, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to trade with NPCs, those are non-player characters in Minecraft for Education, using some commands and maybe a little bit of coding. You ready to get started? Let's start with some basic inventory. All right, here we go. So I'm in Minecraft, as you can see right here, and there's Trader Joe. And Trader Joe wants to trade my glowstone dust particles for some pumpkin seeds that he has. So let's see what happens when I click the trigger. Really cool sound happens. And now if I look back at that inventory, I can see that I no longer have 64 glowstone dust particles. I have 52 and I also now have 24 uh, pumpkin seeds that I'm gonna use to feed the chickens. I click the spawn chicken button and oh, now I have two chickens and now I'm gonna be able to feed them and they're gonna love me forever. Yeah, just so awesome. So let me change the world builder permissions because you know that that's, that's changed just a little bit and I'm going to go in there so we can view and edit uh, the settings for the NPC. Notice uh, I used clear to take away from the nearest player, that's the at P, right? Okay, and I use the zero as the data value. Okay, you always have to use the data value when you are clearing or taking away inventory. That, that's a must. The last number up here instructs the game on how many of that inventory item to clear, to take away, okay? And I did use the command of play sound to play that really cool, awesome sound that you heard. And I also used the say command from my NPC to tell the player what was traded with them. I just, I just wanted to do that for fun. And um, I you notice here that I also added the command of summon chicken. Now summon chicken is not the same as spawning a chicken because I got an adult chicken that was already big. It wasn't little. So, but, but I did say spawn chicken on the, on the button. Okay. So what about lab tables? Giving and clearing lab tables is super easy, again, if you know that data value of them. So here I am with Trader, Trader Laura, and she has diamonds, and she wants to trade me some of my pumpkin seeds for diamonds, so we trade, we trade for the diamonds. And now she wants some of those diamonds back for some element constructors. I'm gonna need those element constructors because there's gonna be a guy down the road who wants, who's gonna wanna trade me for some of my elements that I'm gonna need to create. So how did I do that? Okay, in the commands, I used the give command again, right? But this time I used chemistry underscore table. Since the NPC is giving, okay, the first number is going to be how many tables how many of those chemistry tables um, the NPC is going to give. And the second number is the type of table that is being given. So if I say give to the nearest player or the at P and I use chemistry underscore table two, that means that, that I'm going to give away two chemistry tables and the data value of two, the player would receive two compound creators because that second number, that data value, two is for the compound creator. Uh, is there like a list somewhere that you might need? I have it actually right here. So here's the list of all of the chemistry table data values. Notice that zero through three are the data values for the compound creator, all right? Four through seven are the data values for the material reducer. 8 through 11 are the data values for the element constructor, and 12 through 15 are the data values for the lab table. Now you can use any one of those data value numbers for that particular table. You don't have to use all of them, but you, you, you can use one of them. I test them all out and they, they all do work. So, okay, so now we can, we can uh, give tables, we can trade tables, we can, but what about elements? Elements. I, I've heard different people say different things on different sites and I've tested out some things. So how do you give or clear elements? Trader Alex is here to kind of show us how, okay? He wants to trade some of my elements that I've already created for some compound creators because I don't have a compound creator yet. So, and after the trade, I'm, I will have less of some elements. So he wants helium, oxygen, and carbon. So when I click the trade button, now look, I have 
lot less helium, I have less oxygen, I have less carbon elements, and I also have four compound creators. <laughs> so awesome. So how is that done? Using the clear, you're going to identify the player again, whether it be at player or the name of a player, and you're going to add element underscore and the atomic number for that particular element. For example, if I wanted to clear out the element of helium from my from a player from the nearest player, I would put clear at player element underscore two because I know that helium has the atomic number of two. And then I also need to put the data value of zero because uh, since I'm clearing, I have to have that data value. And then I put in the number of elements that I'm going to take away. So if I wanted to take away eight helium from the nearest player, right? That's how I would do it. I would put clear at player element underscore two, zero, and eight. That eight would be how many? That, that zero, of course, is the, is the data value again, okay? You can also use the clear command to take all of a player's inventory. Just like you can for your own when you type in clear and it takes everything out of your heart bar, you can do that to another player as well. Check this out. Here we have Trader Shelly, and Shelly just loves lime green dye. I can't tell you how much she loves it. And she wants to trade my red, my lime green dye for some redstone blocks. So when I click the trade button this time, uh, <laughs> my inventory is completely gone except for the redstone blocks. And I, if you look at, she's even apologizing. She said, oops, I'm so sorry. I took away everything but the red, but the redstone blocks. I'm so sorry. Everything has, has disappeared because I just put clear. I didn't specify what type of inventory item I was going to be clearing when, just like you do on, on, for yourself on the game. If you type in clear, it will clear out your, your, the player's uh, inventory, okay? Well, what about other inventory and what about all of these these data values? Uh, if you like to know the data value of all the different Minecraft inventory items, there's a number of ways that you can do that. You can Google, there's a number of sites out there. The site that you are seeing right here, I will put the link to in the description of this video. I'm not going to include it here in the video because sometimes they don't like that here on YouTube. Um, so it's going to be in the description. Um, that's where I go to get all of my data values when I am going to do my coding aspect of uh, the NPC players. We've got, we've kind of covered everything about giving and taking and trading with NPCs. So I hope you enjoyed our video and thank you for watching.